Hey everyone, Callhan3000 here with a treat for all of you. Uh, I will be doing a handy dandy guide on Harvest Moon, the Harvest Moon series as inspired by Random DCE. There are a few things about the Harvest Moon series that tend to tick me off, along with a few other fans that have their own personal problems with these, this series. Among with constant release changes, the different versions for the genders, along with many others, this game has a few problems that I would like to voice in this video. So with that, I pick up my hoe, grab up my seeds, and start tilling a handy dandy guide to make Harvest Moon playable and complaint free. Step 1. Constant release date changes. I think I speak for every single Harvest Moon game fan when I say that Natsumi has an absolutely horrible problem with changing and delaying the release dates of their Harvest Moon games. Just the other day, I went in looking for Harvest Moon Tree of Tranquility, the new Harvest Moon game, only to find that its release date has been delayed yet again to September 16th. This seems to be a bigger problem with the home console uh, Harvest Moon games rather than the handheld ones. Natsumi, let's get one thing straight. Harvest Moon is definitely one of your most popular franchises. And unfortunately, you, seem to, you also are losing a lot of fans due to the fact that you take forever to release your games. It gets very annoying when people have to keep coming and going from the store on the release dates you specify only to find out that the game has been delayed again. There is only so much patience people have. Now Natsumi, I'm not saying make the game and even though the game isn't finished on the release date you state, just st bring it to stores and have people buy glitched up games much the way Sega does with Sonic series games. No, that's not what I'm saying at all. What I'm saying is, try to graph your time out more properly. When you decide to make a Harvest Moon game, decide on what you want to put in the game, figure out what you want to do with it, and then give yourself enough time to make the game and be able to send it out to stores on the release date that you give. We don't mind if it's delayed once, but but people are going to get really pissed off if it's three or five times. I forget how many times Harvest Moon A Wonderful Life was delayed. I think it was six times? I'm not sure. But according to a lot of fans, it was a lot of times to where they didn't even bother paying attention anymore. Because they just got sick of it. Step 2. Boy and Girl Versions. What's the point? Natsumi seems to constantly make separate versions for boys and girls in the, in the Harvest Moon game series. Unfortunately, this can be a bit annoying for people, for people, especially the female fans who want to buy the girls version. The boy version always comes out first, and then the girls are left waiting for months on end until the female version comes out. Natsumi, you've lately been making games to where you can choose at the very beginning of the game whether or not you can be a male or a female. Could I suggest just doing this and just stop making separate versions for, for girls and boys? And while we're on the topic of this also, if you're going to make two separate versions, release both of them at the same time and also with the same stuff in it. Be fair to both genders and not only that, allow the boys, allow the male players to be able to have daughters too. Not just make the gender of the child explicit, ex exclusively for the gender of that game. As in, don't make the boys only allowed to have sons and the, daughter, the girls only allowed to have daughters. Make it realistic and make the gender random, much like it is in nature. Or just continue making game, Harvest Moon games where you just pick the gender. Personally, I would prefer being able to pick the gender, aside from waiting a couple of extra months to play the female version. And yes, I do play the boys version, but really, it get, it's getting ridiculous. Step 3. The Children. In Harvest Moon, you are able to have children in the game. 
Unfortunately, this is also has a few complaints of my own. Is it just me, or does Natsumi, despite how long they take making their games, have absolutely no originality when it comes to the children since all of them tend to look exactly the same aside from their clothing, hair color, and eye color? Natsumi, try and make the children more look more like their parents, huh? Another problem I have with the children is that sometimes Natsumi will allow the child to grow up completely or just stay in their toddler forms. How about making it more realistic and allowing the children to grow up completely into adult stages rather than have them stay infants the rest of their lives? Step 4. More Variety we seem to have the same exact crops for every single Harvest Moon game. Aside from Harvest Moon A Wonderful Life, where we were allowed to make hybrids. Yay. But aside from that, Natsumi doesn't seem to want to make a whole lot of effort into putting more variety of crops in the game. Not only that, but I think it's pretty weird that we can grow grapes off of trees when we all know very well that they grow off of vines. Come on, Natsumi. Again, with the amount of time that you take to release your games, wouldn't you think of putting more variety of what crops we can grow aside from the constant repetitive pineapples, tomatoes, turnips, potatoes, sweet potatoes, pumpkins, etc.? Uh, step 5. Editing, also known as censoring. Now. Many people probably don't pay attention, but there is some censoring in some of the Harvest Moon games. And I have two examples, which is from the Magical Melody Harvest Moon game for the GameCube. There were two uh, censors in here, which in my opinion really didn't make much sense. The first one was with Terry. Terry it was originally a hunter. But they changed him into a nature lover. Thinking that a hunter it was too violent for the kids. Despite the fact that he never even shot an animal once in the game. Another edit that they did in the game was also the change of grape wine to grape soda. So now when you go to the inn and order grape soda. It's added twice on the list. Grape soda appears twice on the list. Not only that, but I think it's pretty obvious to anyone who plays this game that something is seriously wrong when you have to make... when one of the ways to make grape soda is to use the aging pot. Wine is aged, not grape soda. And if it is grape soda, then why does the character get intoxicated off of their ass? And not only that, but... Anyway, you get my point. Step 6, title changes. Some fans get really sick of the fact that while, ne while the titles of the games can be easily translated in the nice, well, well thought out titles, Natsumi seems to go for kiddie-ish stuff. Like for example, uh, Harvest Moon Magical Melody. The title from its original Japanese version translated, quite literally, I'm sure, to Song of Happiness. Now, which would you rather have? Song of Happiness or Magical Melody? Same with Tree of Tranquility, the new Harvest Moon game for the Wii. It was originally Tree of Peace. This isn't a big complaint, but honestly, Magical Melody, Tree of Tranquility... Uh, I think Natsumi could do a better job. Anyway, that's my guide for making Harvest Moon watch playable and complaint free. If you like this video, feel free to leave a comment. If you didn't like this video, well, that's just tough shit. And again, I am not ripping off random DCE.